Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new demo. Today we're starting off with the Drifting Dragon Chest. Now, the guaranteed item in this chest is a Black Line Statuette, as well as the Nashblade Dragon Coffer. Which seems really weird, because Dragon Bash is over now? Or did I just miss this last week, maybe? Maybe I missed it last week. I didn't think I did. Oops, if I did. Sorry about that. In the dyes we have Crimson Lion and Sacred Die and Clint's Winter Die Kits. We have the Shimmering Aurora weapon set in Uncommon, along with the Hologram outfit from last time and the Round Tail Dragon Jade Bot. We have the Magical Weapons in the Rare slot with the Glyph of Taylor, the Glyph of the Leather Worker, as well as a Lotus Harvesting, a Mithril Mining, a Hardwood Locking, and Flaxseed Nodes. And then of course we still have the regular Super Rares. So let's open 25 to 27 of these chests, depending on if we get the new Jade Bot skin, and see where that takes us. Here we go. Five transmutation charges. Lovely. <laughs> There's our first glint die kit. We got a teleport to friend. We got another die kit. That's the solar and lunar. Did I miss that one? I must have missed that one when I was reading them out. Commemorative coin, we got the sacred die kit there. What else? We're getting another solar lunar die kit. Some materials there. What do we get this time? Another teleport friend, another solar lunar. Did we get the uh, guaranteed armor there? We did. And a primer. Primers aren't too bad. Some more transmutation charges. A revive orb and a tyrant exchange voucher. A weapon unlock there. What else are we going to get? There's end of... Oh, we've got a magical shield. Nice. But that was a end of dragon's material bag in the last one. We have hopefully 10 more keys and we'll get the new J-Bot skin in those 10 keys. Hopefully. Another wardrobe unlock and another weapon unlock there. We shall see. Should be 6 after this. Teleport trend. Some tier 6 materials, not too bad. Oh, it's looking like we're gonna have to keep going. Revive Orb, kind of coin. Next key is our 25th key. We've got another die kit there. Did not get it. 26 keys? No, we've got some more materials though. The 27th key, we got it. Nice. The Round Tail Dragon J Bot. Oh my god. That's pretty cool. Nice. Okay, let's break down our loot. Here we go. Okay, let's use our transmutation charges first. Get rid of them. Go for the dyes next. Here is... Sorry, the materials, not the dyes. Um, that was a uh, tier 5 there. 10 dust, 8 claws, 9 fangs, 8 bones, 14 totems, 5 blood, 7 venom, and 3 scales. Here is the tier 6. We got 4 dust, 3 blood, 2 totems, 5 claws, a scale, and 3 fangs. Got 3 ore, 5 scraps, 3 totems, 9, re oh, nine resin, 4 leather, Two claws, four fangs, and two totems. Now, in the dies, we got Winter Breeze. Ten copper. We got Citrus die. Twelve copper. We got Fog die. Sixty-one copper. We got Pastel Violet die. Which is fourteen copper. Pastel Winter die. Seventy-three copper to one silver thirty-five. We got Brook die. 127, not bad. We got Violent Tint Die, which I actually don't have yet. 187. Glint's Ambition, which is 189.75. And Glossy Black, which is 14.58. Let's go for our wardrobe unlock. So first we'll do just the regular. We got the Mini Jackalope and Celestial Blue Die. Nice. Uh, weapon unlock, we got a Tormented Spear. We now have four out of nine in that collection. Four out of 19, that should be. 
very nice getting through that one. And we also got the Abaddon's Shortbow, which we're also at 4 of 19, 16. Then for armor unlocks, we got the Ancient Ritualist Mantle and the Sheepskin Mantle. We also got the Magical Shield, which is worth 26 to 35 gold. And 27 Nashblade Dragon Coppers, which we're going to open up now and regret. Anything good? No, nothing good. Well, we got some gold. So gold-wise, we got a Crystallized Lay Energy. We got six Pinata Bits for three gold. Four Porous Bones, they don't really count. Three Frozen Ashes. We got six Bash the Dragon Hollow Records. Five Broken Dragon's Teeth. And seven Silver Dragon Scale Replicas. So that is... What? Twenty... Seventeen, twenty... Six of so 46 gold from that, not too bad. And a half. Next up, oh, I'm too big. <laughs> Next up, we have the JTEC Siege Turtle, which is pretty cool. Doesn't look like anything unique, really, about the attack skill, but the design itself is really, really nice. Really nice indeed. Oh, unique thrusters is pretty cool. And it seems a bit of a unique engage and disengage skill too. Here is the mortar, which is regular. Which is a shame. All in all, a pretty cool turtle. Uh, I like that it has a... Unique thrusters. Shame the turrets aren't unique. Let's have a look at the dies. So right now we have Shy Peach, Mash, Cucumber, and Midnight Olive. The default is Shy Peach, Silt, Nectar, and Nightmare. Which really gives it a J Tech vibe. The mount up and unmount aura effectiveness. If I can mount up again. So let's go full shadow abyss. Still have some hints of green there on the console. Everything else is diable. Top left is the outside of the shell, the middle part of the saddle slash console. These little horny bits here and around the toes there. As well as the last two bits of the tail. Top right is the very side part of the shell. Some little hovery, the sort of exposed cutout parts underneath. The chairs up here, as well as the turrets. Bottom left is the outside of all the scales, the main part of the saddle slash console. Got the feet as well. And then bottom right is the inside part of the scales, the main part of the turrets, this little orb here, and the main body as well. Here's our contrasting layer, blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. So the thrusters are controlled by the bottom right. Slam isn't changed at all. The aura is also the bottom right. And there's a dismount, which is bottom right affected as well. And the remount as well. Alright, let's go check out the Jade Bot now, because we have to head to Kynen for that. So it's the new Round Tail Dragon Jade Bot. Let's check it out on the battery. Pretty cool. They're really going heavy on the dragon. Or, sorry, magic, I should say. Here is a zip line. Nice little aura to it. Oh, and a very stupid little face. I like that. Really, really cool. 
There is our boost from gliding. Let's go to Jade Lantern and then we'll do the defensive and offensive protocol. Do we have this ready? Oh, we have that already. There's the defensive protocol. It should be the same. Here's the offensive protocol. This mech can down us. Here we go. Rescue protocol engage. There it is. Um, but that is the new Jaybot on Asura. Right, let's head over to the different races of Tyria and check out all the new things. Here we go. Here we are on Silvari with the new Jade Tech Siege Turtle. Quite a cool design on this. I like the white. Very cool indeed. Dyes wise, we are looking at sunset and honey ice on top with banana and blue ice down below. Very cool indeed. Right, let's move on to the next race. Here we go. Here we are on human with the new JTEC Siege Turtle. Again, a white bottom right layer. Looking fairly nice. I completely missed that. Oh, you're not an enemy. You just want to talk to me. Oh, I'm sorry. You're trying to start an event or something. Yeah, pretty cool. Dies here we have terracotta, honey ice, banana, and blue ice. Very similar. And there is the J bot as well. Though that should be the same on all races. Here we are on Norn. Also looking fairly good. Dies here. We have sunset, honey ice, banana, and blue ice. Why is everything the exact same? I'm very confused by this. Now it's Nightshade Mountain Sky Electro Purple and Bloodstone Dark Indigo. And that looks really cool. Nice. Let's move on to Char finally. Here we are finally on Char with a more blue look, which is really nice and refreshing. How's it look underwater actually? Might as well get the coins while I'm here. Very cool. The dies for the turtle here. We have, oh, afternoon and citrus breeze on top, and then robin and breeze down below. Uh, Alright, let's head back to Quando and wrap up the video. Here we go. Right, that is it for today's demo, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, and subscribe for more in the future. You can check out my Secrets of the Obscure trailer and pre-order gear demo as well. The link for that should be in the end screen, or you can also check out this week's giveaway to be able to chance to win the new Turtle or Black Line Chess Keys for yourself. That's it for me for now. I'll be back later on this evening with the new Fractal Live about, ooh, probably half ten Irish time. Uh, but yeah, you can support the channel through membership program or super thanks. You can join the Discord link for that is down below. And until next time, take care.